Hi everyone, this is Eric with VVHstring.com with another video coming at you. And today we're going to talk about, or this video is about how to monitor changes in your cells. So if you have a certain amount of cells, you want to monitor changes in those, in your cells. And so stay tuned. Also, if you like the videos that you see on this channel go ahead and subscribe and click the bell notification to be made known of any new video i release when i release it thank you much that would help out a lot and without any further ado let me show you what we can expect here so i'm monitoring the cell changes oh what is this well, that's not good. Uh huh. Well, my computer. Okay, we're back to normal again. So I'm monitoring these the cell changes in these four particular cells, and that's not the valve tinkering around with these cells. That's where I'm getting it. But so uh, let's say I change the value of the cell to 55. Okay, the cell, I get a message box saying the cell values have been changed from 0 to 55. Because now in this video also, you'll find out how to store the old value. Okay, so the old value was 0, the new value of 55. So uh, now, it's gonna, I'm going to change it to uh, 22, let's say. Okay, now the... Values for, for change from 55 to 22. So I know the old value. Uh, again, remember the range I'm monitoring is just cells a one, A1 through A4. Okay, for this one, 33. So from 0 to 33. And I'm going to show you the code in a moment. And it ignores these cells because I'm not monitoring these cells. So I'm not getting any box when I, I click, I do this. It's only monitoring these four cells right here. And that's considered a, a range. Let's go to the VBA code right now and see what was going on here. Okay, whenever a cell changes here. I'm going to pull this over so you can see it. Okay, I'm... I'm using the I'm, I'm looking at the worksheet change event so whenever something on this worksheet changes I'm going to analyze the whatever the the target is so the cell that was changed and the target is a range okay target as range range monitor RNG monitor as range or if you look at some of my other videos you'll see why what well, every cell basically is is a range I'm setting a setting the range to monitor to these these cells right here range a1 to a4 monitor this range of cells I can call this a name name range too if I want to um was one of the was one of the values in the range changed okay that's the question and uh, of course we already established that loop through each of the cells in the range okay for each each cell in the range to monitor monitor which is cells a1 to a4 for each cell in the range if the current if the current address matches one of the cells to monitor, flag with a message. Okay, if the target address, okay, so when the when that event, the change event is fired, okay, we know what target what the cell was what the cell was. And if the value was changed. Okay, so we have a handle on what the target, we have a handle on the cell by knowing the target, the target address. If the target address, okay, we know that the target address of the cell that was changed equals one of the cells we're monitoring, 
then flag with a message. I get the previous. Oh, and I get the previous value. How well? How do I get that? Good question. But I'm gonna go finish with this thought, and then I'll go to get the old the. So I can undo if I need to. So if the if I do if I do make a if I do if my target cell is actually one of the cells I'm monitoring, then I'm going to message box the enter cell has been changed from the old value to the new value. How do I get the old value? Well, so using this event right here, selection change event. Okay, the selection, whenever it, a value on my, my, whatever the value, if I'm, I'm trying to store the value. So, if it, before a cell gets updated, I'm storing the old value. So, I'm making, I'm, I'm using this modular level variable. M, I'm prefixing it with an M, M underscore, and I'm saying it's a DBL, so it can hold uh, decimal points, and it's as, as that's what I'm saying, it's as double, so I'm saying, okay, this is modular, and you can have your own naming convention if you want, but I'm using this, so M, say it's a modular level value variable, D, and it's a double. M DBL value DBL value equals target dot value. Okay, so get the previous value. So get the previous value of the change cell, and the M underscore DBL value equals target dot value. So using knowing this, I can go ahead and revert whenever a a value is changed in my cells. I can I already have the old value here. I can uh, have a log sheet set up saying this person changed it to change the values. Uh, it, here's what it used to be. Here's what it is right now. If I want to want to be, if I want to be a micromanager and like a count pennies. So, a uh, message by target address changed from the old value to the new value. And that's about it. So, leave your questions down there in the comments below. If you do have a question, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. Thanks for your attention and watching. And again, if you have any questions, because I haven't seen any questions, so I assume nobody has any questions on the on the, on the videos. Anybody that watches it doesn't have any questions, and I've answered all your questions. So thanks again for your attention. Bye.